good morning guys it's big rig becca <laughs> um i uh sorry i did not i wanted to record right when i woke up but that did not happen because um i am on some antibiotics for strep throat guys i'm not contagious anymore i would not be around all these people uh that i was around in the past couple days but um i have been on antibiotics for strep throat um and these antibiotics apparently give you the poops the shits okay um and i mean i've never <laughs> never experienced anything like this in my life but anyways i had to go take care of that emergency deal i let the dogs out and uh i went and got a coffee uh, where i took my emergency emergency uh a uh, run at huh zeke that was emergency but yeah I'm in, I'm in my new truck um so picking up my first load on a saturday um it is a 35k steel coil this is something i've never hauled before gonna be a first time first time for everything um so i got my chains got my binders but i was watching videos yesterday on how to secure it um because it's something i've never secured before um and i do need like some rubber mats things uh to put underneath the coil in between the coil and the dunnage um i did see that in the video and i need metal edge protectors um which i don't have they give me plastic ones but um another thing another thing now that i'm talking about this i should have said this before i just explained that to you but um guys i will be doing flatbed i don't know if you can see it but that is my flatbed i should have said this in the previous video that i uploaded when i was telling you guys what company i was joining i don't know why that didn't slip into my head but yes i'm still doing flatbed um I'm eventually gonna get a step deck because I don't know if you guys notice I like step deck better but um, yeah they said they'll eventually get me a step deck but this specific company that I joined to uh, I joined to that I came to they do haul reefers um, and vans I think it's yeah they do reefers and vans um, they just started doing flatbed um, they have two flatbed trailers and I have one of them so they have like two flatbed drivers uh they're just getting into it they're new to it so um the stuff that i need for the coils they do not have they do they did have some stuff but um i'm going down the street to a fleet pride uh meeting the owner they open at eight um so i'm going to meet him down there and we are going to get what i need for this load and then um it's a three hour deadhead to where i'm picking up at i gotta find my rate confirmation sheet um so let you guys know the cities uh where i'm picking up at and where i'm delivering it's a it's a short load like 500 miles so uh gotta get used to this truck you guys definitely gotta get used to this table but uh, anyways i'm gonna take my personal car down there um to go just go grab the stuff real quick from him uh do a little mini shopping and uh check back in with you guys when i get there all right guys so jason got here before me um right when they opened i was like three minutes late uh after they opened and they said they got 41 edge protectors in yesterday and they all sold out yesterday so he went to a tractor supply and that place looks like it's sold out too he just sent me a picture of an empty shelf so i don't know what's gonna happen you guys but we're gonna find out I'm trying to get this load picked up today all right guys so i drove back to my truck um connected to my flatbed trailer and um tied down my tarp it is really muddy out there um and i don't have gloves or anything so i was not videotaping um getting kind of getting kind of nasty out there i'm just trying to get everything situated i'm sorry guys there is just so much going on right now so much of my life going on right now with uh just the youtube and the changing jobs and just this craziness um so I haven't even got my truck together, haven't even put my stuff away yet, and then I'm sitting here waiting for, to see if I'm going to take this load. Uh, I just talked to my boss, um, we might not get the load because he's went to like five places for metal edge protectors today, and they're all sold out. So, um, which it is not anybody's fault, it's nobody's fault, this was a last second load, it was on a Friday um that we booked it and we're picking up on a saturday so um that's just the type of things that happen um and this company like i said this company just started flatbed so they don't really know anything about it they don't have um all the materials that another company would usually have um so i mean it's nobody's fault but um and this is a load that i've never hauled before so but the broker he did call the broker and say that he couldn't find the edge protectors so 
he said there might be um, matting actually inside of the, these coils. Some of them have matting inside of the coils to where you don't need the edge protectors. So the broker said he's going to call back and let us know. And um, if not, then we have to try to find another load. So that's what's kind of going on right now. Um, while I wait, I'm going to try to get my truck situated a little more if I have time. And um, yeah. Alright guys, looks like they have the rubber uh, inside on the coil so I do not need the edge protectors it looks like so I'm going to pick up this this 35k steel coil so let's go let's get on the road my first load my first load with this company come on Jiki Poo we got the first load we got to make some money Jiki Poo I'm about to go see what I gotta do. I've never been here before, so I'm about to go see how we check in here real quick. Alright guys, so I checked in. The girl was like, Are you sure you're ready for this? She was looking at me, and I was like, yeah, why? I was like, this is my first time hauling this, but I'm ready. And she said, uh, it's really hot in there. And I said, in there? I was like, they have you pulling somewhere? She said, yeah, they have you pulling to the building. Uh, they have you pull into this building and it's really hot because they got to keep the coils somewhat warm, I guess. So it's going to be really hot. I wonder if it's going to be hotter than it is outside right now. I don't know. We're about to find out. But uh, she said, it's really hot, so I hope you brought some water. I said, I got some drinks in there. I just filled up my, my fridge with some Lipton green tea, matter of fact. I think I got like two water bottles. So, uh... Dang, man, it's hard. hot in Arkansas. It is like 90 degrees today. I did say, do they like at least like have forklift drivers that help you put the tarp on top of the coil? I don't know how high this coil is going to be, but I know that these tarps that I have are really freaking heavy. Um, and she said, I don't know what help they give you with the tarps in there. If like they'll give you a ladder or something. I'm going to carry that heavy dust tarp on a, with a ladder. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work, you guys, but I'm going to make it work, huh? All right, guys. Just got to get her done. Benji, you going to help me lift that tarp up? I don't know. I think you're too fuzzy. It can get too hot in there. All right, guys. It's been a little minute. Uh, I think I got here around 1 p.m. What time is it? Let me see. 2.45? Sheesh! Sheesh! <laughs> but I'm about to let the doggies out, let them run around. I'm not sure if you're allowed to, but uh, I'm about to find out. I'm about to find out, huh, Ben Ben? We can let the doggies out. I did see a sign up front saying no cameras, too. So, you guys, I might not be able to record me securing this load and tarping it. Um, so, sorry. You might see the aftermath but of how uh, messed up this tarp job is, but <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Come on, come on, Ziki, over here. I know, it's hot as shit out here, isn't it? Huh, I say it's hot in Arkansas. I don't know if we can live here, Mama. I don't know if we can move here. Maybe get a house here, huh? I don't think it's too hot, Ziki. <laughs> you guys, it is funny. It is funny pulling this trailer. It's a 48 foot. I keep looking at it in my mirror. I just want to laugh every time. It just looks so, looks so tiny. <laughs> it really, really does make a difference. The 48, the 53, but uh, it's getting us going. It's getting us going, huh, Zeke? You have to get used to the truck, used to the trailer. Uh, this place looks like it takes a while to get loaded at this place. Maybe it's taking people along the tarp or what, but. 
we'll get there. So this is uh, this coil requires a four foot tarp. I'm not sure if I said that already, but uh, so I got Benji. Where are you going? I got one tarp. Hey, Benji. Sorry, Benji was about to cause some problems. So I got one tarp here. They're not sure how big this tarp is, so I'm gonna find out today. We are gonna learn today. <laughs> Once I try to get it on top of this coil, these tarps are freaking heavy, dude. So uh, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, I'm gonna go back in my truck and uh, wait till they call me. They're gonna call me on my phone to go back and get loaded. So uh, yeah, I'm just waiting. grab my glizzups I'm gonna be honest guys I do not know what to do first um, so it looks like I'm not gonna have any help with my tarps with the forklift because they use that clamper thing right there so uh, I am for sure uh, in some trouble right now I am in some trouble because these tarps ain't no joke boy all right dude that guard check lady was not lying it is hot as hell in here but um i got my ratchet binders out i got uh three coil racks i'm not sure um if that's good enough or not uh, so i kind of just took a sneak peek on this driver what he's got set up so he's got two coil racks out and two pieces of dunnage on the coil racks in the middle of his trailer so uh that's exactly what i'm gonna do <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get my dunnage out i got dunnage underneath the dunnage up top uh I think I might, this is just a, I think I might undo this, get some dunnage. Alright, so I kind of guessed where to put these at on top of the trailer. So, uh, I'm gonna move it over a little bit where the sticker is to place single coil here. So, uh, move it down the trailer a bit. It is hot as shit in here, dude. Alright, so this is how I have it now. <sighs> They're going to get my coil now. I think they just loaded this dude in front of me. This is gonna this is gonna be some fun, you guys. I have to learn how to how to chain this down real quick. And uh, get on down the road. It is a hundred degrees, guys. It's a hundred degrees out here. Got my energy drink. I have it has been a, a rough past couple days, guys, but I'm about to I'm about to get this uh coil chain down and tarped <laughs> these heavy ass tarps and we're gonna get down the road you guys it's going to a city in indiana i'm horrible at pronouncing cities everybody some people get offended i don't know but i think it's pretty funny when i mispronounce cities but terre Haute, indiana i think that's how you say it so that's where i'm going it's only like a 500 mile load you guys just a short late um last minute run that i got for the weekend so uh <clears throat> it actually plays pretty good uh <laughs> plays pretty good <laughs> the rate per mile it was pretty good um so uh i ain't complaining true huh benji i'm complaining when i'm when i'm tarping though that's for sure look at this dude just pulling out in his conestoga oh it's too bright you can't even see him he's done <laughs> I'm being here for a minute, you guys. <laughs> Ooh. 
for my first time harping a 35k coil. Now I think I did a pretty good job. I think I did a pretty darn job. I didn't think I was gonna do it. I did not have faith in myself. I had a lot of doubt. But we got her done, we get her done. Show up out here every day getting her done. I'm about to get on down in the hammer lane. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm beat. But uh, let's go. We're on our way to Indiana, people. This is this is low right here. First low with Art Transport. So what it's looking like. In some new experience. It's been a been a little hassle with the first low, but it's alright. Stuff happens and uh, we're gonna get on down the road. in this city in Missouri uh 74 out not too shabby not too shabby uh oh my camera is a little dirty hold on a second never mind I think it's just that light sorry guys uh I'm walking around I'm doing my uh my post trip uh, I did it on my my truck already now I gotta go do it on my trailer uh this company you gotta take pictures pictures and stuff so I gotta take pictures of my trailer right here uh, show that I'm saying the truth and nothing but the truth why is the flash not turning on the whole truth and nothing but the truth got a picture of my trailer number right there okay uh, reefer I'm not a reefer and, uh, and then I gotta like scroll down the scroll down the list some stuff you gotta take pictures of some stuff you don't but uh, I'm about to shut her down in Missouri and uh, I'll be in uh, Indiana tomorrow to deliver this load uh, in the in the afternoon probably so uh, let's see if I, I might uh, I don't know if I've ever got loaded on a Sunday before but we're about to see all right guys just woke up where I stopped last night uh, before I took off in the truck this week, I stopped, got some iced uh, coffee, Starbucks iced coffee, medium roast, unsweetened black, and I got me some uh, some creamer, some southern butter pecan, uh, pecan, however you want to say it, creamer. Um, and I went inside to the truck stop, got me got me a little ice cup and a straw, and uh, I think I found my little cure to my having to find a Dunkin' Donuts everywhere. So uh, it's pretty good. And uh, right now I got four hours, 20 minutes uh, to my delivery. Be that 3.36 and uh, they stop receiving on Sundays at 6 p.m. So I gotta go walk around, <laughs> do my pre-trip in this little appy, appy majig I got and uh, we'll be on the road, Cozzy.
guys we made it about an hour before they close so told me to untarp and then uh back into door 15. i am already breaking out crazy from bringing out here all this dirt and stuff on the tarp this shit sucks i need a shower <laughs> uh but uh yeah i'm about to untarp these people are probably gonna be mad it's time i get this heavy ass tarp back up on my trailer it's probably gonna be time for them to clock out guys well i tried to go in and get a shower when i first pulled up here i already did my post trip and everything all parked try to go take a shower as you can see i am filthy dirty <laughs> but this truck stops water is still having to be down so uh went in there with my shower bag and they had a sign up saying they were closed so uh, that's just my luck so right now i'm just walking the doggies for a bit I went and ate the, the iron skillet inside. I got a pork chop dinner. And uh, I feel like their showers are working. They just don't want to clean them. But uh, uh, maybe in the morning, maybe in the morning I can try again. But uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty aggravated right about now. Hi, Zeke. Say, Mama, need a shower. Hi, Zeke, you poo. Come on. guys i'm about to catch some z's i guess we'll see what type of load we're getting in the morning second load with this company see you guys peace